Welcome to the Bland and Art Museum. Thank you for joining me today. This is Look and Learn, a podcast about artwork currently on display at the Bland. The goal of this podcast is to connect with the Bland and members and learn about different works of art currently on display. Each week, sharing personal impressions and information on selected works of art in the to create. Today I'm going to talk about Island Hay, a print created by Thomas Hart Benton in 1945. This print is part of Encounters with Nature, an exhibit currently on display at Blanton. Thomas Hart Benton was born in Missouri in 1889. He studied at the Art Institute of Chicago and in Paris. Considered one of the fathers of regionalism, he was opposed to abstraction and created art that could be appreciated by the same people he loved to depict, the folks that lived in the lonely hills, open prairies of America's heartland. Benton is an expressive storyteller providing a collection of works that be become a narrative of American rural life during the 1920s, 30s, and 40s. This print, Island Hay, shows a typical Benton subject matter, farmers working hard in a field cutting hay before the sun goes down. It presents a sliver of life lived on the American prairie. The print is lithograph, which is the process of creating a print using a limestone plate and a grease pencil which makes this print feel more like a drawing and adds to the overall energy of the image. The composition seems straightforward. We have three men working in a field, above a big mid midwestern sky, rolling with big lumpy clouds, below a vast prairie and rolling landscape. A magnificent image of the 1930s Americana. The composition seems straightforward. We have three men working in a field, Above, a big midwestern sky, rolling with big lumpy clouds. Below, a vast prairie and rolling landscape. A, man, a magnificent image of 1930s Americana. If we look closer and start segmenting the parts of the image, it starts to reveal a bigger story. If we look at the men working, we have one man resting, getting a drink of water, and the other two are still busy cutting hay from the field. The relationship between these three is important. They are the central elements of the print. This represents a moment in the everyday life that we, the viewers, get to view. These three figures also help stabilize a very energy-filled image. They bring order to the image, forming a triangle dead center for the viewers to focus on and then enter the image. Binden is very masterful in his use of compositional elements and principles. We can also see the use of repeating shapes and forms like in the bucket in the tree stump, the two bundles of hay laying on the ground, even the two men working in the field. The use of these elements add a tempo and a beat to the overall composition, adding to the movement and control. Personally, I've always enjoyed the work of Ben. It's full of energy and is very expressive. In Island Hay, I enjoy not only the rolling sky above, but also the figure in the foreground. The man, the whole center is, uh, the whole image is centered on. The man getting a drink of water. First, I love his stoic pose. It seems very classical, even ancient. The pose makes me think of classical marble sculptures made during the Renaissance or ancient Rome. Then there is the moment that Benton decides to present to us, the viewers. Right before the cup touches the lips and quenches the thirst. The tiny space between the man's lips and the edge of the cup is supercharged with anticipation. We know how thirsty he is and we all want him to quench, his, quench that thirst. Not only for him, but us as well. We are caught up in the moment and in our minds finish the story. Bitten's Island Hay is a wonderful print and it can be appreciated in many ways. I hope you enjoyed today's talk. I encourage you to spend some time today looking at this image. What questions is it asking you? What stories can you come up with? Write a poem, draw a picture, be inspired. Well, that's all I have for today. Tune in next time for another look and learn at the Blanded.